I'm Laura from TastePC.tv and so I'm really quickly going to be giving you my thoughts on the Corsair Carbide Air 540. Basically I was originally going to be doing a full review of this case um, but the case has been out for so long now and there are already so many videos on it that I decided against it to give me time to work on videos of newer products from both Corsair and other manufacturers. But I had so many people asking me what my thoughts on the case that I thought I'd just like throw a rig in it and cover my thoughts on it. Um, and this video will be completely different to any other style of video I've done before. And kind of the best way to describe it is kind of, you know, when I do like a full review, kind of like the conclusion section at the end. Like this is like that. And like I'm not going to be covering specs or anything like that in this video. Um, but basically the F540 is obviously like a cube shaped case and it's split into two sections. You've got like a high airflow section at the front for things that need to be actively cooled like your graphics cards and a section at the back for things that don't need to be cooled like your solar cell drives. Um, and I have to admit when I first saw the case I really wasn't sold on it like at all. Like I really needed to get a build in it to actually see what I thought of it. And now that I've done that, I do really love the design of this case. I do think it's really great. Obviously, like the airflow coming through the front isn't going to be obstructed by anything that doesn't need to be cooled, which is going to obviously help cooling performance. And like having the power supply and cables in the back made it so easy to get like a clean looking rig cable management wise. Because I literally just threw in the power supply, threw in the, well, not through but you, you know like <laughs> throwing the power supply throwing the cables and just like threaded them through the grommet closest to where they needed to reach and that was it like that was the total sum of effort that i put into cable management and yeah it looks so clean cable management wise like i've spent a lot of time um and you know from that side of things this case is so like great it really is and this i have to say that this case is the the easiest case to work in that I've used so far like it is just like a pleasure to work in it is really great and you know you could put like no effort into cable management and you still get a really clean looking build at the end of it and like with the water cooling loop too like I managed to high load tubes and the bay rays in the back and get a much cleaner loop than I otherwise would have been able to and I've all overlay pictures so you can kind of see around the loop and like around the rest of the rig and see what I did um but I do I do really love the design of this case for both cooling performance and kind of like how you can get your rig to look. And, you know, because it is quite an interesting looking case as well, you can definitely create some interesting looking builds. I really do love it. Um, if I was going to kind of cover and be very picky with kind of the floors, firstly, you can only fit two hard drives in it. Um, and if you don't have the hard drives fitted, you've got holes in the floor. Um, but the hard drive um, bays are hot swappable, which is a definite bonus. Um... The power supply intake grill isn't dust filtered, which I'd imagine Corsair have done because a lot of power supplies nowadays are semi-passive, which means less dust anyway. But I suppose if that bothers you, you can always pick up like the little magnetic dust filters and just kind of bung one of those on there. Um, also, obviously being cubed, it's going to take up more space on your desk. But other than that, I don't really have any faults with it. Um, and you know, I do. It's, it's definitely a great case. It is. I I'm so impressed, really, by how. Like I just threw the power supply and threw the cables in and it looks like I spent so long on the cable management. It is a really great case to work in, it's very easy to work in. Um, if I was going to give it an award, like if this was a full review, it would either get the sweet award or the tasty award depending on how picky I want it to be about its few faults. Um, but I love the design, I really do. Um, but it is definitely a marmite case, like I love it, but you may just like hate it. It really does come down to whether a square form fats are kind of in two halves is right for you. Um, but yeah, so um, that was just really quickly my thoughts of the Corsair Carbide Air 540. If you like the video, um, hit the like button, you know, let me know what you thought of this style of video and also what you think of the case in the comments below. And, you know, if you haven't already and want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.